I am David Ellard. I'm with U.S. Sprinkler. We're here to go over the fire protection and sprinkler system throughout the building. All right, and here's the fire pump. The main valve that shuts off the entire building is right here. Um, this is OS and Y. This comes in from the underground. It shuts it off as well, but that one, if you have a problem, that's the valve you would shut off. This is just a bypass. And they're already off? Yes, those stay off. That's for testing purposes. Okay. So, so this valve here... Is that valve, and that's the one that has the uh, alarm on it? Yes, sir. For the main... And so that one has a built-in alarm on it as well, so you would get a tamper. Tamper trouble. Tamper trouble okay. on both of these. Okay. okay. So a sprinkler head or something goes off in the building, and the fire gets put out, or, or, or a head gets busted or something. First thing you would need to do is shut this valve. That isolates the entire building, and then shut off the fire pump okay. and the jockey pump, which the control panel is right here on the wall. What is that? That's the jockey pump. It is here to, if you lose pressure throughout the building, it's going to kick on after you lose so much pressure and keep the pressure built back up to keep the fire pump from going off. It's That's, a wet system. It's a wet system, yes. Yeah. And that's basically it in here. You've got a uh, floor control up here in the top. This isolates the first floor. Each floor has its own control, so if you needed to isolate a floor to do any maintenance or something happens, you can shut the valve on each floor and you have protection throughout the rest of the building. Okay, where's the valve to shut that one? That's the valve here. That shuts off. That one? Yes, sir. That what, pipe. What shuts off that one? I'm trying to think what that's for. That is for the standpipe. Um, that goes up to feed the other floors. Okay, so in, in each floor there's another valve? Yes, sir. Okay. Each floor's got its own valve. Is it the same, is it same right up this way, or does it go into the... It's up... Um, it's right the outside stairwell. the It's right outside the stairwell inside, and they've got tags. On okay, the, so it's in the stairwell. It's outside the stairwell, yes, sir. Okay. It's not in a room like this. There's right. No, there's yeah, there's no other room, room like this. Okay, it's got tags, uh, main floor, main control for the first floor, and then that would say the same thing on that pipe going up each floor. Yes. Okay. And if you had to shut that valve off for any reason to drain the system, the drain is right here next to it. It's got, uh, it says inspector's test on it. Yeah, okay. That's for testing purposes and to drain the system. That's the alarm box on the top for flow. Yes. Okay. All right. And should you ever have to shut it off and drain it before you fill it up, always cut the fire pump off. Say that again, would you? Just, I mean, tell him, but just okay. say that again. Anytime that you've got to fill the system, you always shut the fire pump off while you're filling the system. Do not, you, you turn the, when the system's full, Turn the jockey pump on first. When it quits running, then you turn the fire pump on. Okay. Jockey pump first. That maintains the pressure. Yes, sir. Uh, where, where, does the, where does the air, does it have an air bleeder, automatic air bleeder? No automatic air bleeder. So what happens if it gets air in it, where does that go? Well, the inspector says it, it works itself out. Okay. So upstairs, upstairs on the third floor, there's no like a pop-off air valve or anything? No, sir. Okay. okay, this is the control panel for the um, fire pump. So when you have a problem throughout the building, if anything happens, first thing you do is shut the fire pump off. Because that, if it engages, you have too much pressure going through the lines. So you shut the fire pump off first, jockey pump, close your valve, drain your system. And then once you get pressure back on your system, this is the last thing you turn back on. Okay. We are on the we're on second floor, southeast corner, looking at the fire protection here. Uh, the main control valve is above the ceiling. It's the same as the one that was in the first floor. If there's a problem, you isolate the floor. That way you have fire protection on the rest of the building and you drain the system right here. It drains down it's got the, the first drain floor. Up there. Yes, sir. Each, like yes. Each valve has its own drain. Okay. So third floor. Southeast corner, the main control and valve is above the ceiling, same place as it was on second floor. Uh, 
works the same. If there's a problem, shut the valve, drain it, take care of the problem. Does each one have its own drain outside? It's, it, the drain's are all connected and all runs out so to the same place. So you only got one spigot, I mean one outlet outside? Yes, okay. just one.